Now guys, moving on to the next topic. The next topic in head and neck that we are going to learn is tongue. One of the most important topic. And in this we have to actually learn about two things. Number one, we have to learn about the muscles of tongue. And then we have to learn about the most important thing that is nerve supply of the tongue guys. So you are able to see this diagram. In this diagram, you are able to appreciate the muscles. But let's start from the very beginning here. So first of all, let us learn about the muscles. Muscles of tongue here. Now all the muscles of tongue actually divide into two categories here guys. The one which are inside the tongue will be the intrinsic muscles and the one which are outside the tongue will be the extrinsic muscles of tongue guys. So we can divide all the muscles of the tongue into two categories. One will be intrinsic, another one is extrinsic. Now first of all, what about the intrinsic muscles here guys? Intrinsic muscles of the tongue can be learned very easily just with the help of the direction here. Now suppose if this is the tongue over here, there are certain muscles inside the tongue which are longitudinally placed, superior longitudinal and then inferior longitudinal. And then we are ha even having the transverse muscle as well as we are also having the vertical muscle. So if you just remember all the directions that will be done. So the intrinsic muscles of the tongue are number one, you'll be having superior longitudinal muscle, superior longitudinal muscle. And then we have got the inferior longitudinal muscle. And then there will be transverse muscle. And then we have got the vertical muscles, guys. So all the intrinsic muscles of the tongue, easy to remember just with the help of the direction. Now what about the extrinsic muscles of the tongue? The extrinsic muscles of the tongue, we can learn it very easily with the help of this diagram here, sir. Now in this diagram, you can you are able to appreciate here, this bone here will be your mandible here guys. This is your mandible. And from the mandible, you can see that there is a muscle which is actually going inside the tongue here. And this muscle is referred to as genioglossus muscle. That is genioglossus muscle guys. Then behind, we will be actually having a styloid process here. And from the styloid process, you can clearly appreciate one muscle entering into the tongue here. And this one here will be the styloglossus muscle styloglossus muscle and then below below you'll be actually having the hyoid bone here and from the hyoid bone we can see a muscle coming into the tongue here and this one will be hyoglossus and then finally above you'll be actually having palate and from the palate we can appreciate one more muscle yes that is palatoglossus here so it's so easy to remember all these four extrinsic muscles of the tongue we can just remember like one is in front one behind one above and one below aage piche upar niche so in the front, you actually have genioglossus and behind, from the styloid process, you'll be able to see the styloglossus and then from above, palatoglossus and from below, you'll be having hyoglossus. Now first, let us make a note of this one here. There will be genioglossus muscle and then from behind, uh, from the styloid process, styloglossus muscle and then from above, palate, that is palatoglossus muscle. And then finally, from below, hyoid bone will be having the hyoglossus muscle, guys. So these are all the muscles of the tongue, extrinsic as well as the intrinsic muscles of tongue. Now, once you are perfect with all the names of these muscles, guys, now what are the MCQs which are possible here? Question number one, out of all these muscles, which is the largest muscle of the tongue? Remember, the largest muscle of the tongue will be genioglossus muscle, guys. Out of all the muscles of tongue, the largest muscle of tongue will be genioglossus. Next one. Another very important question here, like which is the safety muscle of tongue? It has been asked like a lot of times in the exam. Remember, even genioglossus itself is the safety muscle of tongue. It is the safety muscle of tongue, genioglossus. Now, what is the reason why it is known as the safety muscle of tongue? We have to even know the reason of this one, guys. Now, if you observe in this diagram here, you are able to appreciate this genioglossus muscle over here, guys. Genioglossus muscle is actually helping in protrusion of the tongue. You can see the way it is, all the fibers are entering into the tongue here. So this genioglossus muscle, these fibers are actually helping in protrusion of the tongue, protrusion of the tongue. Now, for example, when we are lying on the pillow, when we are lying, at that time, what will happen, sir? The tongue will actually fall back due to gravity. So the tongue will actually tend to fall back due to gravity. Now, we all know very well, if the tongue falls back, yes, behind, you actually have that glottis that is covered by epiglottis and that will be closed. And you know the consequences, what is going to happen. So therefore, that falling back of the tongue has to be prevented. Yes, that is done by the genioglossus muscle, which is actually helping in protrusion, guys. Understanding? So the muscle which will actually prevent the tongue from falling back, 
that is why it is actually known as the safety muzzle of tongue safety muzzle of tongue is genioglossus now last and final thing like one more question here which is not a true muzzle of the tongue and that guys you can easily remember from the name itself here palatoglossus muzzle so palatoglossus muzzle is not a true muzzle of tongue it is not a true muzzle of tongue from the name itself we can remember it is palatoglossus that means it is a muzzle of the palate also and as well as the muzzle of the tongue also so it is not like purely or exclusively the muzzle of the tongue so it is actually not a true muzzle of the tongue sir so these three mcqs you have to remember regarding the muzzles of tongue so i repeat again which is the largest muzzle genioglossus which is the safety muzzle of the tongue that is also genioglossus and finally not a true muzzle of the tongue that is your palatoglossus muzzle guys now once you are perfect with the muzzles of tongue let's move towards the most important thing that is nerve supply of tongue guys so let us learn about the nerve supply of tongue now again the same thing the nerve supply of tongue we can again divide that into two categories here so one will be the motor supply to the tongue and another one will be the sensory supply nerve supply to tongue again we can divide into two categories one will be motor another one is sensory now out of these two first of all let's deal with the motor supply guys now what is the meaning of motor supply supply to the muscles and i think every medical student knows that all muscles of tongue will be supplied by which nerve only that is 12th nerve sir hypoglossal nerve all the muscles of the tongue will be supplied by 12th nerve hypoglossal nerve but do one thing write that and forget about that these kind of simple things they will never ask you in the exams what they will ask in the exam exception here so all the muscles are supplied by 12th nerve except which muscle except the palatoglossus muscle which is not a true muscle of the tongue sir palatoglossus muscle and this palatoglossus muscle is supplied by what it is the one which will be supplied by vago accessory complex or else it will it is also known as the pharyngeal plexus guys okay so one thing that you have to remember for your exams here is exception here so all the muscles of tongue are supplied by 12th nerve hypoglossal nerve except the palatoglossus muscle and that is supplied by vago accessory complex guys done perfectly done now after completing this uh, motor supply let's move towards the sensory supply sensory supply now the sensory supply to the tongue it can again be divided into two categories here guys sensory supply to the tongue can be again divided into two categories one will be the special sensation from the tongue now what is the special sensation from the tongue taste taste okay and then the general sensation from the tongue which includes all that you know the touch temperature pressure everything we can sense from our tongue so i'll give you one easy example here guys uh, so that you can remember for example one of the oldest example also for example we are drinking coffee so when we are drinking coffee we can tell the taste of the coffee of course it's cappuccino latte americano something like that so taste of the coffee comes under the category of special sensation and apart from that temperature of the coffee yes it is very hot very cold or cold coffee something like that that comes under your general sensation temperature comes under general sensation so basically now sensory supply to the tongue this is the one which makes many many students confusing here why because we have to remember like two two nerves here the nerve which is going to carry special sensation as well as the nerve which is going to carry the general sensation and adding to the complication here we have to remember two two nerves for anterior two third posterior one third and posterior most part of the tongue okay now i'll give you a simple trick here how to make this easy guys do one thing here draw the diagram of tongue here like this and we all know that our tongue is always divided into the anterior two third and then the posterior one third here and then the posterior most part of the tongue and now my dear doctors follow my simple trick here how to make this topic easy yes just remember this numbers here anterior two third remember 5 and 7 posterior one third remember 9 and 9 and posterior most part you remember 10 and 10 5 7 9 9 10 10 i am damn sure that you will be easily able to remember these numbers okay 5 7 9 9 and 10 10 now what is the meaning of this 5 7 9 9 10 10 remember anterior two third of the tongue from the anterior two third of the tongue the special sensation i mean to say taste taste will be actually carried by the seventh cranial nerve that's your facial nerve and similarly general sensation that pain temperature touch everything will be actually carried by the fifth cranial nerve that is your trigeminal nerve wow 
and here I want all of you to spend a little bit of time with full concentration and learn about anterior two third carefully. Why? Because it is different different nerve. Taste will be carried by seventh nerve that is your facial nerve. General sensation will be carried by the fifth nerve that is trigeminal nerve. After you have learned this perfectly here guys, no need to worry about the posterior one third and posterior most. Why? Why? Because posterior one third of the tongue, both general as well as special sensation will be carried by ninth nerve. There is no confusion at all. It is the same nerve which is carrying both general as well as special sensation. And posterior most part of the tongue, both general and special sensation will be carried by 10th nerve, that is your vagus nerve. No confusion at all there also guys. So it's all about anterior two-third of the tongue. Learn that perfectly there. Okay, that is our simple trick to remember about the sensory supply to the tongue. So let us just repeat this for the last and final time. Sensory supply to the tongue, we can divide into two categories, the special sensation as well as general sensation. And for that, you have to remember two nerves and follow my trick there, 5, 7, 9, 9, 10, 10, guys. 5, 7, 9, 9, 10, 10. Now, because this anterior two-third is more important here, let us discuss a little bit in more detail about that. Anterior two-third of tongue. Now, from the anterior two-third of the tongue, special sensation. That is your taste. A special sensation, that is taste. We all know it will be actually carried by which one only, guys? Special sensation will be carried by the seventh nerve. Now, after learning that nerve, let us go a little bit in more detail or more depth, like which branch of the seventh nerve is going to carry that one. So, remember, the special sensation will be carried by corda tympani branch. Corda tympani branch of facial nerve. It makes sense now. So, don't try to like, you know, jump to the final answer, all nerves at once. So, try to learn it like, you know, slowly one by one. First of all, learn anterior two-thirds, taste will be carried by seventh nerve. And now we are adding to that, which branch of the seventh nerve? That is the quadratipanic branch. Now, similarly, my dear friends, general sensation is carried by which nerve only? Trigeminal. But which branch of the trigeminal? First, observe here like this. Trigeminal nerve will be actually giving like three branches, ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular. Out of these three branches, we are speaking about the tongue. Tongue below. So, definitely it has to be which nerve only? Mandibular. But mandibular nerve in turn will come here and give like many, many branches. And out of all those branches, which nerve is going to carry the general sensation from the tongue? It will be your lingual branch. Which branch? Lingual branch. Now, let us go in a retrograde manner. Ulta. Okay, therefore, from the anterior two-third of the tongue, from the anterior two-third of the tongue, General sensation will be carried by lingual branch, which is in turn a branch of the mandibular nerve and mandibular nerve is in turn a branch of trigeminal. I repeat again, lingual branch of mandibular nerve, which is a branch of your trigeminal nerve. Perfectly done. So, general sensation will be carried by lingual branch of mandibular nerve, which we often write it as like 5-3 and that is in turn a branch of your trigeminal nerve, which is your fifth cranial nerve. So, perfectly done in depth here. So, anterior two-third of the tongue is at most important. Take care of that one. Now, after learning about this in detail, 5, 7, 9, 9, 10, 10, let me tell you one exception here, guys. In the anterior two-third, you'll be able to find here circumvallate papillae. Now, which nerve is going to carry the sensation from the circumvallate papillae here? Now, most of the students will be getting confused here. Why? Because circumvalent papillae, look at the location there, guys. It is located in the anterior two-third. Now, you might be thinking the taste sensation from here should be carried by seventh nerve. But no, it's not carried by the seventh nerve. Remember, even from the circumvalent papillae, it will be carried by your ninth nerve only, glossopharyngeal nerve. That's one exception that you have to remember. So, for the final conclusion, we can say that from the anterior two-third of the tongue, all the sensation, all the taste sensation will be carried by seventh nerve except the circumvallant papillae. From circumvallant papillae, it is again carried by the ninth nerve only, glossopharyngeal nerve only, guys. And I think these numbers you will be easily able to remember without any confusion here, guys. And uh, that will be easily, that will make it easy for you to answer the questions in the exam, okay? So, that is about the muscles of tongue as well as the sensory supply of the tongue, both motor as well as sensory and then sensory supply again divided into the general sensation as well as the special sensation guys. Okay, that completes about the tongue. It's all done.